What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Fooch here, back again. I know it's been a couple of minutes, and I've been wanting to do this recap video for a while and an update on it. And I do have some updates to share you along the way on my video in April on piecing together who or who might Satoshi Nakamoto be. And also tomorrow or Wednesday, HBO is actually coming up with a documentary on this as well. So I'm curious to see what they believe. And so, yeah, let's let's jump into the recaps of, you know, what my video was about, how I stumbled. All right. So back in late March, early April, I saw a video of um, Hal Finney's wife, Fran Finney, talking with um, Natalie Brunel. And they were just going through like an interview. And, you know, I was just watching it because it was kind of cool. And, you know, I heard how she talked about him, how what he went through, you know, like what he what other people kind of put him through thinking that he was Satoshi and things that he said, like, you know, when in the interview, he was like, he would explain to her, oh, Satoshi, I believe is, you know, this mysterious guy from Japan, blah, 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 um, you know, working on Bitcoin, whatever. So then after I saw that video, I was scrolling. And then the next thing on Twitter was uh, an actual speech from Hal Finney at a Crypto 98 conference. So as I watched it, I was like, wow, I finally get to hear what he sounded like. So after that video happened, um, you know, my brain started thinking like, wow, you know, what if Satoshi was there? So I pulled up the um, program of that day, Crypto 98 in Santa Barbara, and I'm just Googling stuff, you know, I'm looking and then I'm going down the list and I type in Nakamoto. Nakamoto obviously doesn't come up, but I'm like, wait, let me just type in Satoshi. So I type in Satoshi and boom, some a Satoshi presented at that conference. So that's what my last video was about. And as I was doing more research, somebody on Twitter actually put names together of people that were on the research paper with the Satoshi. And all those names had a combination, Satoshi Nakamoto. So if you didn't see that video, check it out. Um, I'm gonna link it again in my description. So that's where we were at that point. And then after that, um, I did some more research or just Google it or actually somebody left the comment that there's actually a video of now Satoshi um, presenting at the conference, as you can see right there. So I, I watched it's pretty interesting. It's a little hard to hear and understand. But so but keep in mind. So now this is what came up since that video. So since that video. Um, I found this video. I think this gentleman actually made the comment on my video that he might have he might have put it and turned comments off, I think, or he might I don't know when he uploaded this, but I did not see this before, but it doesn't have his name on it. So so there's some things now, some new things that I found out that I just want to present and show everybody. So let's jump into my research tinfoil hat, you know, white paper. Well, not white paper, Dropbox paper. All right. So the first thing that happened was when I went back to this guy's Twitter and he put these names together in the doc and I clicked it, they took it down. Conspiracy number one, tinfoil. All right. So then there's that part. So um, IBM looks like it removed it. So these were IBM researchers. So they actually took it down. That's pretty, pretty crazy all right so as you can see this is where he has the names together right here you know this is how so i came up with like i found out that there was somebody named satoshi in the same building as hal finney and then i'm like you know i look further and then somebody actually says this is a like quite a coincidence that the names have a combination now i'm not saying that this is satoshi i'm saying that their names combined it fits the theory that it's a group of people and you know a lot of talk has been going on about how the government actually knows who they are they interviewed four people back in the day in california four people it could be these three plus hal who knows but that's just a, a theory right so okay so there was that so ibm took this this paper down with their names on it boom All right, number two. So people started comparing the writing styles. So look at um, Satoshi Hada's paper. 
and look at Nakamoto's white paper right there. So you can see like the similarities of the, the I don't know what this is, a latex template, he said, but I don't know. But it looks pretty similar, but maybe that's how these nerds do it. I don't know. I'm not a nerd. Maybe I am. I don't know. I'm not that type of nerd, but yes. So it does look similar. The writing styles look similar. The, you know, I mean, he missed a, a he put a double space on the name. So, okay. So that's number two, tinfoil wing. Okay. <laughs> Let's go on to another one. So now, what was he talking about at this conference was my other thing. And as I watched the video, he's discussing three round zero knowledge proof protocols. So a lot of people were discussing this and he wasn't the, the, you know, the person who discovered it or, but he contributed something amazing to this. Now, what the hell is zero proof knowledge, zero knowledge proof protocols, whatever. I don't know. As I looked into it, I found this. So here's the connection between ZKPs as they call them. So they prove the valid validity of statements on blockchain without offering information that may compromise privacy. So basically they hide whoever, you know, the privacy of it. So this one goes to this one, I believe. I could be wrong. And they send and they hide whatever. They they don't compromise. Um, they don't compromise something. I don't know. But it's used in blockchain. So in 1998, that he came up with something that helped down the road with the blockchain okay a guy named satoshi who is a cypherpunk or on the mailing list of cypherpunks who was at the same conference as hal finney okay so keep the all this in mind right <laughs> okay let's i think i have some more information on this um zkps so look at this on his presentation, he's talking about all these zero, zero, zero knowledge stuff. More stronger, more suitable for crypto is one of his slides. So this is in 1998. Wow. Okay. So again, it's crypto, not cryptocurrency, but this technology is used in Bitcoin. So he actually is presenting this information at a crypto conference. Bro, a guy named Satoshi in the same building as Hal Finney. Like, okay, what are the odds? Like, yes, it could be, you know, Satoshi is like John in, you know, in um, Japan. And also, you know, okay, you know, it could be a, a coincidence. Okay, we get that. We understand that. So let's go down a little. So there was another thing I saw that I want to show you on one of the sides. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Starting protocol. Three round public coin. Honest verifier ZK. If anybody could say what that means, they're talking about a coin. A coin could mean a, a a couple different things, maybe, but like he's actually talking about a coin there. Let's go on, guys. All right, so here's how he contributed. So this is what I wanted to show everybody. Let me try to blow this text up. So these are my notes. So he was a researcher involved in cryptography, and he co-authored. Co co-authored with another guy named Nakamoto <laughs> on the existence of three round knowledge protocols. So he presented it at Crypto 98. And okay, again, he wasn't the inventor of them, but he contributed to the development of protocols that allow efficient zero knowledge proofs, specifically focusing on a method involving non-black box simulation. So this was the uh, notable ad advancement in the cryptography field at the time. So he's a legend. This guy, this guy is brilliant. He's a legend. He does not get the recognition that he deserves. And I'm going to show you somebody else that said the same thing on Twitter. Now let's jump into this. All right. So in this tweet, somebody named Matthew Green, a teacher of cryptography at John Hopkins, said the following. There's a risk that you do great research like satoshi hada and everyone ignores it there's this guy named satoshi hada who came up with a bunch of brilliant results on obs obfus oh my god obfuscation a year before barack but he published it in the wrong conference i think about hada a lot so let's digest dissect so he basically said 
the where is it? Okay. So Satoshi Hara presented this um this theory in the wrong conference. So he was at Euro 99 or something, and he was not he was in a the wrong conference to post this. Had he been in the right conference, like a crypto 98 or a crypto 2001 or whatever, this would have blown everybody away. But he presented it at the wrong conference. But he did this before Boaz Barak. Whatever Boaz Barak did, Satoshi had a, actually done it before him. So we're going to talk about that now. So what the hell did Barak do? I don't know. Let's jump into it. All right. So you're thinking what I'm thinking. What the hell does obfuscation do? I don't know. Here it is. So in white box cryptography, it refers to the protection of cryptographic keys from extraction when they are under control of the adversary. Adversary. Okay. So let's take a look at this scheme and what it is. So look at this. He published this after Satoshi Hada and he demonstrated what it could be used for. So all this all this work to me it looks like it's leading up to something being used in Bitcoin blockchain something that helped develop it. Now, I don't find his name cited anywhere in you know on the white paper or anything like that. So it looks like it could be like a red flag. Like why isn't he mentioned? Like this guy is brilliant he contributed a lot to this space why 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 isn't he cited so that's kind of weird right so i'm just gonna end with this guys you know thank you for watching this video um again like so i have my theories that you know it might not even be any of these people it might be somebody that just used them like they used them in the past and didn't give them recognition left them out of the white paper it could be somebody that threw everybody off took these research papers made the name combined the name and then done that or it could be what you know everybody else thinks as well so i'm curious to see what happens tonight on or tomorrow night on hbo's documentary on this um it's going to be interesting to watch uh there are some other theories out there you know like you know dorian and you know he could have been set up like a fall guy he was like foreclosed his house was in foreclosure like how can like you know there's that theory like i don't want to get into that but so there's there's len sassman there there's all kinds of other theories that sound just as good as this so i don't think this mystery will ever be solved despite what hbo says like nobody knows like unless somebody comes out there and sends a transaction or shows proof like nobody can do that as of now and if they do i don't who knows what's going to happen to bitcoin so i don't know if it's better kept as a mystery or if somebody knows who the inventor is if he's like somebody like len it would probably be like a, a neutral thing for the bitcoin for bitcoin price because he can't control it so there's all these theories that come into play when when we're talking about you know exposing who he might be it's the greatest mystery probably ever and everybody wants you know to be the person who figured it out i mean <clears throat> based on what i heard from a lot of other people you know this seems like the most plausible theory but it's not saying that you know satoshi hada is nakamoto it's not saying that it's saying that his research was used in the vet think about like look 1998 three round public coin honest verifier zero knowledge proof like he's presenting this and you know it's crazy it's crazy all right thanks for watching i'm curious what you guys think and if you have any research hit me up i'll catch you on the next one hopefully i'm going to do a part three before i get executed peace shout out to joe pesci